Okay, uh, yeah. here are the emergency protocols. Take these seriously, everybody, because uh, emergencies do happen and we want to be prepared. Okay, the first one is a hold protocol. Um, in the announcement you'll hear, at this time, we're conducting a hold drill. This is only a drill. What it's used for is used in the event uh, just to clear the hallways of the school. What you need to do, you have to remain in your classroom. Students and teachers will continue their business as usual in the classroom. Students and staff outside the building should remain outside unless directed otherwise. Teachers take attendance and note the time. This drill will be cleared with an announcement of all clear. Let me the recording here. Looks like I am. Okay, the next safety protocol is the secure drill. In the announcement you'll hear, at this time we will be conducting a secure drill. This is a drill and only a drill. We will now start this secure drill. This is only a drill. What it's used for, it's used when there's a threat outside the building. Um, what you need to do, um, everything continues. Classroom activities will continue uninterrupted. We are allowed to move around the building business as usual. Students and staff outside the building will return to the building. All exterior doors and windows will be secured and locked. I will take attendance and note the time. No one will be allowed in or out of the building. This drill will be cleared with an announcement of we are all clear from the secure drill. Next one, lockdown. Announcement you'll hear, this is a drill. Lockdown, lockdown, lockdown. We are in a lockdown situation. Lockdown, lockdown, lockdown. What it's used for, when there's a threat inside the building, what you need to do is teachers sweep the hallways outside your door for nearby students and bring them in. By the way, that applies to y'all if you're in some other class. A teacher sees you, just get in their classroom, okay? Um, close your doors, turn out the lights, get out of sight. Practice hiding in a part of your room that is out of sight and from the window and or door as we practiced already the first day in the storeroom. Um, students and teachers, stay low and quiet. Take attendance and note time. Do not respond to anyone knocking on the door, phone calls or class bells. If a student does not have a class at the time a lockdown occurs, they are to find the nearest classroom and hide in it. Hey, if that's you guys, get in a classroom immediately because once teachers get the kids in the classroom, they're locking that door. If students and staff are outside, they are to evacuate to Mount Hope Church or South Boulder Rec Center. If you are near a door that leads directly outside, you may self-evacuate and go to the South Boulder Rec Center or Mount Hope Church. Do not go to your locker and try to get your belongings. During this drill, administrators and staff will unlock doors and check rooms to see where the students and staff are hiding. This drill will be cleared with an announcement of, we are clear from the lockdown drill, we are all clear. Please note that in a real world situation, this drill will never be cleared with an announcement. Uh, it will only be cleared when a law enforcement officer comes to your room and unlocks the door to escort you out. Shelter. Uh, announcement you will hear, we are now going to practice a shelter drill. This is only a drill. What it's used for, when protective measures are needed based on hazards such as tornadoes, severe weather, chemical spill, etc. What you need to do for this drill, you will remain in your classroom and away from windows. Teachers will close doors and windows in the event of an actual emergency. Teachers would show students where to go and how to protect themselves. We will show you where to go, how to protect. That's a big deal. We take it seriously. We'll take attendance and I will note time. This drill will be clear with the announcement of we are all clear from the shelter drill. The evacuation fire drill, which we do have this Thursday um, or Wednesday, rather. Fire drill, the alarm will be sounding. What you need to do is exit the room and take students to the designated area via your evacuation route. Our designated area is out the back door. Um, over near the tennis court, there are some white, small club school buses. That's where we will go. Uh, we will close the door upon exiting the room. We do not lock those doors. Uh, and I will take the class roster and green cards with me. And once outside, I will take attendance, note the time, and I'll display a red or green card as apl applicable as indicating uh, I have all my students or not. Um, red, I am missing a student and have another emergency. Green, all students are accounted for. Remain in your designated area, as I've discussed, until all clear is given to return to the building. This is a drill, you will, this drill will be cleared with an announcement of all clear. Um, um, take these drills seriously and practice uh, how they're going to do actual drills. I know it's crazy, we've been doing fire drills since kindergarten, maybe even nursery school. Fire drills are the most likely thing, um, but all of these are a possibility if we take them very seriously. Even if we practice a million times, it's better. Um, I, will, I will show you by example how to behave in these situations. I take them seriously. Um, and we will practice each as we have already practiced the emergency uh, lockdown. Okay, with that, further ado,